Hi, it's Maxi here with Raggy and Mousy. Okay, I'm ready to do it. read a story and go to bed. Alright, and this is a continuation of Story Day. Alright, and we're continuing to read the book. Goodwick, the Big Hearted Mouse by Dr. Seuss. Alright, well... See if I can just pick up a parasite or <laughs> well, 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 it says bug in the book, but yeah. Uh, all right, and that's the last page we left off. So we're going to turn the page. Well, an hour or so later, the bug heard a squeak. And he heard a small voice of a tree spider speak. I say, said the spider, you've got a fine place. That mouse seems quite friendly. He's got a nice face. Ah, that's sweet to say when you're trying to, well, let's continue with the story. All right. And I got on too. Do you think he wouldn't mind? Hop aboard! Laughed the spider, laughed the bug, and think that you'll find that the most what object. He's a big hearted kind, yeah, I guess that's where the, where the title comes from, huh? I accept, said the spider, with joy and delight. And he started a web on the horn to the right. While the spider was spinning, he heard a song and a fresh little zing of the bird came along. And he stopped and he stared and he chirped. Well, well, well. What a smart place to build! What a great place to dwell! I've been living on trees ever since I was born. But there's something new. Why not live on a horn? If there's room there for two, then room there for three. There's plenty of room, laughed the bug. <laughs> As, and it's free. Yeah, in other words, nobody paying right there. Yeah. You know, they're squatters. Yeah, that's what they are, squatters. But Chadwick, you know, he's such a big hearted mouse. You know, people take advantage of people like that. You know, that's not nice. Well, Chadwick stopped walking. What's all that talking? These guests had caught Sudwick the most unaware. Hey, he cried out. What goes on upstairs? Just building a nest, sir. 
the Zing Zang said. And began, began yanking hairs out of poor Sidwig's head. Ow, oh, that sounds like it hurts. And he picked out exactly 204. Oh, that's a lot of hairs. Don't worry, he laughed. <laughs> you can always grow more. Oh, you tell that to my friend Don. <laughs> Sorry, Don. We lie over you, you know that. There he is. Look, there's, there's, there's our evidence right there. Yeah, yeah, that's most of yours. Most of yours. Most of yours. Then he dozed off to sleep and he, his fine moose hair nasty. I'm sure, yeah, he, now he's got a nice place to live, you know. But poor Sedwick, you know, he's got a sore head. This bird murmured, Sedwick. It's sort of a pest. But, he, but I'm a good sport, so I'll just let him rest for a host of bubble. Must be nice to his guests. Well, you know, Sedwick, you're a lot nicer than I You know, talk about the patience of a saint. You know. Besides now, it's getting quite late in the day. And surely tomorrow, they'll all go away. But alas, the next morning, the sun's early light brought Sidwick's, Sidwick's sad eyes a most unwelcome sight. Uh-oh, there's trouble. Meet my wife, the bird. I was married last night. Boy, that's a short courtship, ain't it? And perhaps, by the way, I should mention to you that her uncle is coming to live with us, too. You're a very fine host, so I know you'd be willing. I don't know. You know, I think Sedwick is being taken advantage of. Oh. Then the uncle, a woodpecker, Started in drilling. Oh man, more went, more most of yours, most of yours, most of yours. I'm telling you. See, we got the evidence. I think we have a case for you. Give me the lawyer. All Sidwick's friends shouted. Get rid of those pests. I would, but I can't. So poor Sadwick. They're gassed. Gassed instead. His friends answered. And all of them 
forward. If those are your guests, we don't want you around. Oh, he's getting abandoned by the herd. These guests are really getting to be a problem, aren't they? Alright. You can't stay, you can't stay with us. Cause you're just not our sort. Oh man, that's prejudice. Oh man. And they all turned their backs and walked off with a snort. And Dave had to snort too. <laughs> and that's where we're going to leave it at now with them leaving poor Sudwick being abused. Aww. I hope this thing have a happy ending. Oh well. We'll see you in part three. And that'll be fun, fun with Agent Messing. So be sure to like, share, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the little bell because we're dingling. And help Dave out. He's reading Sandwich the Big hearted mouse and talking to a puppet. Bye bye.